What is up, everyone? TCB here, taking care of business with Smoky Mountain Knife Works. That's smkw.com. And today, we've got another blade steel video for you. Today, we're going to be talking about M390 steel. Who makes it? How it's made? And how it was developed? Now, before we get into that, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring that notification bell so you will know when we drop new videos. Seriously, you should know this by now. Sorry to sound like dad. And join us in the comments down below. We actually do read the comments and we enjoy it. And we're going to join in with you. Trust me, if we didn't like reading the comments, we wouldn't tell you to comment. I'd probably just turn them off, honestly. So without further ado, let's light it up. Now, M390 or Bowler M390 is manufactured and produced by Bowler Udaholm in Austria. Now, I'm not even going to attempt the town name because I know as soon as I do, I'm going to murder it and you're going to make fun of me in the comments. Nevertheless, its popularity is somewhat new to the knife world as super steels have become more and more popular, but it's actually been around longer than you think. Its origins can be traced back to the original K190 steel that Bowler produced in the 1980s. Now, the original patent for M390 was actually submitted in 1989 as they wanted something that was as strong as K190, but in a stainless steel version, as K190 was not. Now, it was not made or intended for use in knives, however. It was designed for injection molding plastic machines, and it was touted as something that was going to hold up over a long period of time because it wouldn't degrade over multiple uses. As a manufacturing process, uh, injection molding plastic machines skyrocketed in the late 80s and early 90s, and as a result, you don't start seeing it used for knives until the late 90s, and even then, there were very, very few. Then around 2006 to 2009, it garnered a little more attention, and by the late teens, it was one of the most popular super steels available. The reason why it gained popularity was not intentional from Bowler. They actually uh, just pretty much marketed it for injection molding plastic. It was actually helped along by the development of more competition. Consequently, we come to what it most closely resembles. Now, it's pretty convoluted as to how it was produced and its acquisition of companies, but suffice it to say that Crucible started making their CPM20CV, which they had produced for Latrobe, until Latrobe was purchased by Carpenter Steel, who produced the also very similar CTS-204P. So those are the two steels that it most closely resembles. Now, like we've discussed before, M390 is another one of those powdered steels where all the elements are put together, and then melted steel is sprayed through an atomizer and then put under extreme pressure, which effectively eliminates any sort of voids in the material making it a much finer compound on a molecular level, also a much stronger compound as a result. And as with any steel, the heat treatment process is just as important. And that heat treatment is going to bring this steel in particular to around 60 to 62 Rockwell, or HRC, making it very hard, very corrosion resistant, and very wear resistant. Now it comes in with a whopping 20% chromium, 1.9% carbon, 1% molybdenum, 0.6% tungsten, 4% vanadium, 0.3% manganese, and 0.7% silicon. As with any blade steel, there are pros and cons that are very subjective and based on consumer use and needs. M390 is extremely corrosion resistant, almost as much as H1, and can hold a very thin edge compared to many other blade steels. It is, however, somewhat expensive to produce, and given its wear and tear resistance, it's going to take a lot of patience to sharpen. All in all, M390 is a great blade steel. Is it great for you? I don't know. That's for you to decide. All I can do is tell you about it. Now, if it's something you're interested in, just go to our website. And when you're shopping, on the left side of the page, you can filter specific blade material. There you're going to find manufacturers from Olamic to Wee, Viper, Lion Steel, and many others using this type of steel in their knives. That about wraps it up for me, folks. And remember, I'm here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, and if it cuts, we carry it. <laughs>